I didn't folks. So I recorded this video a few days ago and unfortunately one of the settings on my primary camera was incorrect. Uh, that's going to make the screen a little bit darker. Uh, thankfully that wasn't the case on the um, b-roll camera which is the close-ups of all the work that I'm doing. So hopefully uh, you'll get what you need to see from that. But uh, in case you're wondering, no it's not your monitor or anything like that. It's just the ISO setting was uh, set too low. And uh, so uh, bear with me and I still hope that I'm able to put this together so you can enjoy and learn from it. Thank you. What's going on guys? Rob with Oddball ORV. Uh, in the previous video I just uh, did an engine compression test uh, after um, blowing this engine at Pismo Beach. Uh, you can check that out in one of the previous videos. But uh, real quick before I go through the process of tearing this whole thing down, uh, I'm going to put a boroscope in there and just to see if we can uh, see what's going on with the, uh, the engine. So um, I just bought a boroscope off of Amazon. Uh, it's this depth check. And uh, I will have this uh, linked at oddballorv.com. Uh, so you can see uh, enter the tools section. Uh, I'll put it up there so you guys can find it easily. Um, it's about 80 bucks, uh, nothing fancy, but it, it seems to work pretty good. So um, I already got the, the spark plug out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put the, the scope in there. And uh, this scope actually lets you do both video and uh, pictures. So we're going to put this on a uh, video mode. And then um, we'll be able to switch it over and upload the video while you guys watch this. So it'll be a little bit clear. So we're going to go in here with our scope and we're going to take a look and see what, what's going on for us. So there's a spark plug hole. And right now we're at top dead center. That's why you're not seeing anything. Let's see if I can rotate, rotate the clutch. There we go. Take a look. I'm gonna need to rotate it a little bit further. It's up and it's down. Where's the bottom? Okay, so taking a look here. Um, clearly there's some some damage going on here. And uh, what it looks like is that the edges of the cylinder went kerblooey, in the words of the late. Calvin and Hobbes, um, and it kind of scattered some some stuff all over there. So uh, this is a great handy little tool to have just to be able to do this sort of stuff. Um, I've already used this a ton of, uh, I had a plumbing disaster going on in the house and I've used this thing uh, to help with that. Um, 80 bucks, um, and it just, it really solves a lot of problems being able to get an idea, you know, what am I in for, what's going on here? Um, I honestly thought that I blew a hole in the piston. I thought, well, maybe you got a lean condition or something like that. Uh, but the piston, the top of the piston looks decent. Uh, we'll see it better, obviously, when it gets torn apart. But clearly the, the failure happened um, around here, probably around the, the exhaust port, the exhaust bridge, actually. And, and this is one of those known things uh, we should be getting it done here is that you got to remove some of the exhaust bridge there. It's kind of in the corner. There you go. Uh, because as the engine um, warms up and gets hot, that little section of metal tends to, it, it expands and it can impact the piston. And I'm not saying that's necessarily what happened in, the, in this case, uh, but that's uh, one of the things you can do while you're going through the process of rebuilding. So anyways, we'll take this out now. So anyways, uh, that's the that's the process there. I'll show you guys what the unit looks like. Kind of zoomed in and everything. Uh, got it turned on here. So uh, just a camera. It comes with a lot of cord. It's kind of a little little bulky or whatever, but uh, you know it works really well. So highly highly uh, recommended to get it. 80 bucks. Uh, can't beat your uh, can't beat that. I'm sure there's better ones out there. There's probably cheaper ones too, but um, I, I like this one. I, I will say that. Uh, there are some units that you can get that'll hook up to your phone uh, or your tablet or your iPad or something like that. I, I've had those. I think they are a little bit cheaper. And really, if if cost isn't a concern, I wouldn't do that. Uh, problem being with that is that, uh, like in my case, um, 
the the charging port USB now USB C might be around for a long time, but um, that was like the old USB A. I couldn't find it. I couldn't plug it in anymore. Just lost it. So um, I would just get an all-in-one unit. Just makes it a lot easier. So, anyways, uh, with that, we're gonna get into the uh, tearing down portion, and uh, that'll be in the next video clip after that. But uh, I thought you guys would uh, really uh, appreciate having. Um, some video to kind of see what, what it looks like when you're taking a peek inside the engine. All right, we'll see you guys in the next clip.